Once again, I welcome you on behalf of Kampala Quality Primary School. My name is Anita Debra. I'm teaching Primary 5 English. And we had been learning about vehicle repair and maintenance, but today we are starting on a new topic, which is about print media. As, as you know, we, the, there are different means of communication. Some means of communication, which we use to send and receive messages. Yes. We have radios, televisions, magazines, newspapers, and others. So when we talk about print media, we are talking about the means of communication which are in written form. The means of communication which are in written form. Among them, we have magazines, newspapers, newsletters, brochures, and many others. So our topic is print media and newspapers. Today we are learning about the vocabulary which we shall be using as we talk about this topic. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to read the new vocabulary. You should use, spell them, write them correctly, and use them to construct meaningful sentences. So let's look at the words. The first word is the front page. The front page of the newspaper. This is the page on which we find the page on which we find the headlines. The page on which we find the headlines is the front page. For example, we are going to say the headlines are printed on the front page. Then our second word is back page. Back page. Back page. So when we have a newspaper, the back page is behind. That's where we find the sports news. So we are going to say sports news are found on the back page of the newspaper. Sports news are found on the back page of the newspaper. Then we have article. Article. Article, this is the story. The stories in the newspapers. Every story in the newspaper is called an article. Every story in the newspaper is an article. Then we have an advertisement. Advertisement. If you look at this page, classified advertisements, it has very many advertisements where people market. Businessmen market their goods. Then we have newsletter. Each year, each time our school prints a newsletter. And in the newsletter, that's where our school informs parents about the things that go on in the school. So this is a newsletter. For example, we, we are going to say, teacher Tom wrote in the school newsletter. Then our next word, our next word is newspaper. This is a newspaper. We have different newspapers printed in Uganda. For example, this is the New Vision newspaper. We have the Daily Monitor. We have the Bukede newspaper. Some newspapers are printed in local languages, while other newspapers are printed in English. For example, Orumuri is in Runyachitara. Bukede in Uganda. We have Etop, Lupini, and others. They are printed in different languages. Then we have magazines. We have a magazine. There are magazines for companies. There are magazines for different people. For example, this is a magazine for the Lord Development Center. We have Toto Magazine. At home, you all receive different magazines, Bride and Groom, City Beat, Premiership, there are very many magazines. Then, our next word is a notice. A notice. For example, on this page, we have different notices. Like the, the Uganda Communications Commission, the local government, they, they have put different notices. 
So when you open a newspaper, you're going to find there many notices. Then we have cartoon. Cartoon. We have a cartoon on this paper. These are funny pictures that are printed in the newspaper and they bring different information. The person who draws a cartoon in the newspaper is called a cartoonist. person who draws new cartoons in the newspaper is called a cartoonist. Then we have, our next word is column. All of you, we say column. For example, in this newspaper, the, there is a column in the new vision of Wednesday. Every new vision of Wednesday, there is a column for a letter from Toronto by Opio Oloya. If every new vision of Wednesday, there is that column. So the person who writes columns in the newspaper is called a columnist. So we are going to say Opio Oloya is a columnist in the new vision newspaper. Every Wednesday, he prints there. So a column, the person writes a column is a columnist. Then announcements. Announcements. Different announcements are put in newspapers to inform people about different things. Even when someone dies, they will put an announcement on the radio. Then we have pull out. Pull out. Pull out. For example, in this newspaper of Wednesday inside, there is Toto Magazine. So I can say Toto Magazine is a pull out from the Wednesday New Vision. Toto Magazine is a pull out from the Wednesday New Vision. We have Sports News. Sports News are always found at the, at the back page of a newspaper. For example, these are Sports News about Vipers. Vipers is one of the teams in Uganda. Then we have a brochure. A brochure is, is printed by a, by a company to advertise its goods. Like this brochure is by MK, showing the price lists. We also have a brochure for Kampala Quality Primary School. It gives some information about Kampala Quality primary school. Then we have the crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle. This one requests you to have good brains. With a crossword puzzle, you have to be having good brains because they will put some questions, some statements, and you have to complete. You read on the words here and you fill in the boxes. That is a crossword puzzle. It needs brains. It tests our brains. Then, a columnist, we have already said, a columnist is a person who writes columns in the newspaper. We have the editor. The editor is the person, when the, when the journalists collect news, they bring the news to the, to the media house. Then it is the editor to, to check the stories and make the corrections before printing, before deciding which stories should be put in the newspaper. Then we have a journalist. A journalist, we can call him a journalist or a reporter or a newspaper correspondent. A journalist or a reporter or a newspaper correspondent. This is a person who collects stories. They go in the public, they collect stories, they bring the stories to the media house. Then the editorial. Editorial is a story in the newspaper. So let's read the words. Our first word is cartoon. Cartoon. Then cartoonist. Publish. Publish. Publisher. Publication. Classified. Crossword. Puzzle. Story. Reporter. Correspondent, column, columnist, news, article, announce, announcement, print, printer. So I, you have to learn how to read these words. You should also learn how to spell them. Make sure you know how to write those words. Our next word is advertise. 
advertise. And what is advertised is an advertisement. Advertisement. We have articles, reports, back page, front page, pull out, brochure, edit, editor, editorial, edition, journalist, magazine, newsletter, newspaper, media, reporter. So I, I want you to read these words and learn how to spell them. So we are supposed to use the words, the words in sentences, the new words, the new vocabulary we have learned. For example, a word is advertisement, advertisement. So we, we can say publishing an advertisement in the newspaper is expensive. Publishing an advertisement in the newspaper is expensive. If you want, if you have a business and you want to announce it to the people and you go to the media house, it, they count the words and it is very expensive. The book at the newspaper is printed in Uganda. The, print, the book at the newspaper is printed in, Uga, in Uganda. So newspaper, our new word is newspaper and print. Death announcements are printed in the obituary. Death announcements are printed in the obituary. That means in the newspaper, a page which is dedicated for, for death announcements, uh, where, uh, where they even put memorials in loving memory, that page we call it an obituary. Today's article was about road construction. Today's article was about road construction. The word we have is article. Most companies give out brochures when marketing themselves. Most companies give out brochures when marketing themselves. So as we have already said that a brochure is printed by a magazine to advertise its goods. Like we saw the brochure for Kampala Quality and the brochure for the Road Development Center. Then a cartoon of the president was drawn in the new vision. A cartoon of the president was drawn in the new vision. Remember we say that cartoon, these are the funny pictures that are printed in the new vision. All columns yesterday were based on corruption. All columns yesterday were based on corruption. The word is column. So here we have used the plural of column, which is columns. John Nagenda is a columnist in the new vision. John Nagenda is a columnist in the new vision. Remember I've said that a columnist is a person who writes columns in the newspaper. Crossword puzzles require a lot of vocabulary and concentration. Crossword puzzles require a lot of vocabulary and concentration. Remember we said with a crossword puzzle, you have to read the sentence, you, should do, you think about the answer, then you fill in the answers. In the dashes. The chief editor did not accept the journalist report. The chief editor did not accept the journalist report. Remember, I said that the editor, the, they are the ones who decide which stories to be printed. And the editorial decides the charge charges. The reporter was beaten by a policeman. The reporter was beaten by a policeman. Remember we said that the reporters, these are the people who go out in the public to collect the stories which are printed in newspapers and also which are aired on radios and televisions. Jen is reading the Marimu pullout from the new Wednesday New Vision. Jen is reading the Marimu pullout from the Wednesday New Vision. Remember we said the pullout is is like a, uh, a special booklet which is found inside the newspaper. If the media lands on this story, it will publish it. If the media lands on this story, it will publish it. Remember we said that the media, this includes the people who collect news and even <laughs> Then, I want you to use these words to construct sentences. You are going to use this word to construct meaningful sentences on your write the, You write the word first, then in front you write the sentence. 
Then we are going to give the singular, the singular form of news and media. We are forming nouns, abstract nouns from these verbs. So when you have the word publish, the verb is publication. What is published is a publication. Then edit, from edit we have different nouns. We have addition, like you said, the weekend edition, the weekend edition of the magazine, meaning that, or you say the July edition, meaning the magazine which came out in July. Then from edit, we can get editor, a person who edits the news. A person who edits the news is an editor. Then editorial, that is the story in the newspaper which is published by the editor. Advertise. Advertise, we get advertisement. And abbreviation for advertisement is ad or advert. Announce, announcement. As we have already said, like death announcements are printed in the obituary. Report, we get reporter. Report can be a verb at the same time, a noun. Correspond, we get correspondence. Journal, we get journalist and journalism. Cartoon is, also, is a noun, and we also get cartoonist, a person who draws cartoons. News vending, the act of selling newspapers, we get news vendor. A news vendor is a person who sells newspapers. So here, I want you to complete this table. But you, for me, I have given you the best form. So you're going to put the present participle by adding I, N, G. Then you also put the past participle by adding D, or. Here, you're going to give the plural forms. You're going to give the plural forms for this. For me, I've given you the singular. You draw a table. Then you give the plural forms of them.